Hello, I am Dr. David Obshet from Environment and Climate Research Center at the Policy Studies Institute. We are working collaborative three-year research project with the Stockholm Environmental Institute, International Livestock Research Institute, INERA in Burkina Faso, Sokoni University of Agriculture in Tanzania, and our institute in Ethiopia. The research project is on research and learning for sustainable intensification of smallholder livestock value chain in Burkina Faso, Ethiopia, and Tanzania. It is part of the broader research initiative for on sustainable intensification of agriculture, research, and learning in Africa, the SAERLA project. This transdisciplinary inquiry into livestock feature uh, conducted via a participatory process that explored the relationship between social, economic, and environment components with a major objective to explore the future of animal production. Our study site is in Azvi, Tigray region in Ethiopia. Uh, the project focuses on small ruminant uh, in Ethiopia, dairy cows in Tanzania, and cattle in Burkina Faso. The project has involved all actors involved in livestock sector, uh, for example, farmers, trader, input supplier, government technical experts, extension service workers, researcher, uh, decision maker, community leaders, religious leaders were participated. We also operationalize our projects through an environmental and production trade off through learning space and using computer assisted tool. Uh, we name it Clean the Tool. Mm, the Clean Tool is a comprehensive livestock environmental assessment for improved nutrition, a secured environment, and sustainable development along livestock value chain. It provides an assessment of livestock production system change in data poor environment. We found that all actors appreciated being uh, brought together in the participatory uh, workshop to have uh, an opportunity to learn from actors uh, they might not uh, normally interact with. Meeting high-level policymakers in the transformation game allowed farmers to understand why some policies exist. The national-level policymakers are also well aware of the target set in policy, which is why they argued for a livestock composition that would for most have a significant impact on reducing greenhouse gas emissions. But when they met with farmers in the transformation game, they discovered why some policies do not work on the ground if they do not still maintain livestock production. This sharing of knowledge between the actors was a key to find solution. For example, meat and milk production can be increased without increasing environmental impact from livestock in terms of water use, greenhouse gas emission, and soil nitrogen. This can be achieved through by moving to improve dairy breeds and substituting cattle fattening with more sheep production while spreading the use of machinery and reducing draft animals. There has been also a high interest in the transformation game and the clean tool and the demand to scale up the tool application in a bigger and wider spatial scale to accommodate different agroecological zones because Ethiopia has a diverse agricultural zones and uh, it is proposed for further work this transformation game to be implemented in, uh, in a bigger scale uh, or at national level to understand the dynamics of livestock production throughout the country. Thanks for listening.